I don't want to be involved in just another study. I want to be involved in life change. So John Franklin uh, was the first mentor in my life. You know, just created this huge life shift and this life change that impacted me. I was the cross he picked up. And his wife actually mentored me. I was very insecure, very, very insecure. Experienced some, some things that really um, created trauma. What I found was acceptance. The people that mentored us, they had been broken at one time. So they could relate and, and, and did it with grace and without judgment. And so if it wasn't for somebody like that in my life, we wouldn't be sitting here today. Marriage probably wouldn't be a marriage mm -hmm. still today. So now at, at Hope City, I think is where it all started because freedom's transformational. We were studying uh, John 21 after Peter denied him three times. I can only imagine what he felt after all this. Like I walked with this guy and the shame or disappointment. So he goes back to doing what he was doing before. He goes back to fishing and he's on the, you know, with his friends. So they all kind of walked away. And as we're studying this story and we're looking at uh, Jesus walks onto the beach and they're out there fishing. He tells them to throw the, net, throw the nets on the other side. Uh, and he asks some children, do you have any fish? And I think that's just so beautiful, his approach after Peter completely walked away. But just that relationship of breaking bread, rest restoration, there's just some guys in the group that really related to that. We have one guy in the group that uh, was called to be a pastor and walked away. And just through this study in this group, he is excited again to know that God is drawing him back like he did Peter. So I find that there's a just a stirring and a reawakening you know in the hearts of men as you pray with these young men that have fears, have addictions and don't know what's next as you you pray with them, love on them, cry with them. Even last night one of the guys said I can't wait to see what God does with us. For the women, I think it's stirring them to want to be involved in people's lives. They're hearing from God. He's revealing things. So God was really speaking to them about our identity in Christ. And I've had that happen so many times where women said, God knew exactly what I needed. He knew I needed this group. When people truly discover their purpose and the Holy Spirit's revealed that in their lives, it's really a freight train that you can't stop because nobody can deter what the Holy Spirit has revealed. You know, we, we may be like Peter where we've kind of fallen away and sometimes it just takes one story, one life change. It takes one time to ignite the entire group. Just one story. 